What's going on guys? John Alder here from tkinter.com and in this video, we're gonna build this QR code generator with Kinter and Python. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're gonna build this cool QR code generator. So this is really easy to do. You can see we can clear the screen. We can type in whatever we want. Say we want a URL, tkinter.com. We wanna create a QR code. We just boom, come up here, decide where we wanna save it. I'm just gonna save it as a uh, test two, whatever gonna save it as a PNG file, save it, boom, there it is. Now we can head over to our file explorer if we want, and we can see sure enough, there it is, we can double click it, whoa. We've got our QR code saved as a file on our computer, also shown in our Kinter project right here. So that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So let's head over to our code, I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Kinter videos in this series, so check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a file, I'm just calling it qr.py. It's our basic Kinter starter code that we've always got. And we're gonna need a few things in order to make this work. The first thing we're gonna need is something called pyqr code. So we wanna import pyqr code. Now we're gonna need to pip install that. We'll do that in just a second. We also need to import something called png, which will very quickly and easily allow us to save png files. We'll also need to pip install that. So we're also gonna need a file dialog box. So let's just go from tkinter import file dialog. And we're also going to need the Python image library. So let's go from PIL pill, we want to import image and image TK. Now notice the T is capitalized there and the I is capitalized. Sometimes that throws people off. So okay, we need to pip install these two things. So let's head over to our terminal. I'm in my ctkinter.com directory as always. And let's pip install high QR code. I've already got it. But it'll install on your computer. We also want to pip install not PNG, but pi PNG, right? And I've already got it, but it'll install on your computer. So okay, we're good to go there. Now let's head back over to our code. And let's rough out the GUI. So let's create GUI. And this is very simple. We want to start with an entry box. So let's call this my entry. And this is going to be an entry box, we want to put it in root. And let's give this a font of like Helvetica with a size of 18, make the box nice and big. And that's my underscore entry dot pack this guy. Give this a pad Y of like 20 to push down the screen a little bit. Alright, so we're also going to need a button, I'm going to call the first one my button. And this is a button, we want to put it in root, we want the text to equal create QR code or something like that. And let's give this a command of create underscore code, we don't have this function yet, we'll create it in just a second. In the meantime, let's go my underscore button dot pack and give this a pad Y of like 20, push it down the screen a little bit. And while we're at it, let's just come up here and define that function. And for now, we'll just pass. If we have it there. We also probably want a clear button so that we can clear the screen in case we want to make more than one QR code. So I'm just gonna go my underscore button two, and that's gonna be a button. We want to put it in root, we want the text to equal clear, and the command to be what something like clear all or something like that. And again, we don't have that function yet, we'll create it in just a second. In the meantime, let's my underscore button two dot pack. And uh, that should be good. So again, let's just sort of come up here real quick and define that clear all function and just pass for now. Finally, we need a label. So let's go my underscore label. And this is going to be a label. And we're going to use this to put the actual QR code on the screen of our app. So we want to put that in root, we want the text right now to be nothing. So it'll just be a blank label. And let's my underscore label dot pack this guy and give it a pad y of 20 to push down screen a little bit. So okay, let's go ahead and save this and run it just to make sure that looks okay. I do that pretty quick. And I always make mistakes. So let's go Python qr dot pi run this guy. And we see okay, that looks pretty good. We got an entry box, we've got a couple of buttons, they don't really do anything yet, but we're good to go. So okay, so far so good. That was pretty easy. So now we just need to create the QR code. But before we do that, we probably want a file dialog box to pop up so you can name the file that you're about to save. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go uh, file dialog. And I'm going to call this input path, we need to create a path that we want to save this as and this is going to be equal to a file dialog dot ask save as file name. And then let's give it a title. This is the title of the little box that will pop up. And let's just say save image. And then down here, let's make a file type and set that equal to boom, boom, a couple of these guys. 
And we want to save this as a PNG file. So that will be of the file extension.png. And for good measures, I like to put also all files, just because kind of people sort of expect to see that. So let's go star dot star that will save it as all files. So okay, that looks pretty good. So now let's run some logic. So let's say if input path. And the reason why we're doing this is because sometimes people will open a file dialog box and then click cancel. And if that's the case, they haven't saved a file name and it'll flummox the whole program. So we want to make sure they actually typed in a file name. So we do if input path, that'll handle that. So now when the box pops up and they name it, they could name it test.png or they could just name it test. A lot of people don't type in the file extension. So we need to sort of account for that. So let's say if input underscore path dot ends with, and then we could just say dot PNG, then we want to do something else. We want to do something else, right? So what do we want to do? Well, let's create a QR code. So let's create a variable. I'm just going to call it get code. And to do that, we use that PI QR code library that we installed up here, right? So let's say PI QR code dot create. And then what do we want to create? What is our code going to be? Well, it's going to be whatever we typed into the entry box. So if I typed in tkinter.com, we're going to create a QR code of tkinter.com. Well, whatever that is, is my underscore entry dot get, right? We want to get whatever's in that entry box. And then we want to take it and create a QR code out of it. And that'll assign it to this variable. Very cool, very easy. Now we just need to, let's comment uh, create QR code from entry box, whatever. Now let's save as PNG file. And to do that, we could just call get underscore code dot PNG. And then we need to give this a name. We want to, what do we want to save it as? Well, we want to save it as that input path, right? And remember this if statement section means our input path has the dot PNG, so that's good. And then we need to scale this. We need to set a size. So I'm going to scale it as a size five. So you can play around with this if you want, but five is a good size and that's kind of all there is to it. So that's if they typed in the name of the file they want to save dot PNG. If they didn't, down here, we need to kind of add that, add that dot PNG to the end of the file name. And so super easy. Let's just go input underscore path equals, and let's create an F string. And inside of here, let's put that input path. And then we just want to slap a dot PNG at the end of it. So now our input path will be the same. It'll just have a dot PNG at the end of it, which is what we want. And then we could just copy this stuff here exactly the same. So boom, there we go. All right, that should be it. So that will save the file. But what if we want to actually now put it onto the screen of our app? Well, we could do that. Let's come down here. And still inside this if statement, let's uh, put QR code on screen. Whatever, right? So here we need to create a global variable and I'm just going to call it get underscore image. Now this makes a lot of people very angry. Why do we have to use global images? I heard making variables global is very bad. It's not bad. You have to do it in Kinter when you're using images in a function because Kinter has a garbage collection thing that will sweep away variables if they're not global when it comes to images, just how it is. So you have to do that. Not a big deal. Doesn't matter at all. I don't know why people get so angry. They read in a book 20 years ago that making variables global is bad. And so they think it's bad. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. And like I said, in fact, we have to do it to use images. So let's uh, create this variable, get image. And this is going to be an image TK dot photo image. And we want to image dot open whatever our input underscore path is. And that's this guy up here that we just saved our QR code as. We're gonna say, hey, open that file that we just saved, right? And this image and this image TK, remember we installed from our pillow, Python image library. If you don't have pillow, I should say, on your system, you just wanna pip install pillow. I've already got it, of course, so it's, it says, hey, you've already got it, but if you don't have it, you need it. Should have mentioned that. 
But uh, okay, so there we're good there. So this will sort of create a variable of that image. Now we just need to put it on the screen. So add image to label. And you remember way down here, we created this label, my label. Here we just need to update it. So let's go mylabel.config. And we want to set the image equal to get underscore image, which is this guy right here. Okay, that should be it. That should do the trick. Now the only thing left to do is do this clear thing. So let's go my underscore entry dot delete. And let's say from the position of zero to end, we want to delete everything. And let's go my underscore label dot config and set the image equal to nothing. Now we might also want to take our my entry box up here and just sort of flash up a finished message or something like that. So let's go my entry dot insert position zero. Let's just say finished. And before we do that, we need to delete whatever's in there. So let's say uh, delete entry box. There we go. And that looks good. So, okay, that looks good. Let's give this a try. Now, we did a lot of stuff there. I probably messed something up. <laughs> Maybe not. Let's see. Python qr.py. And let's go ahead and HTTPS. And you can type anything. It doesn't have to be a URL. You can make a QR code that just says, hi, my name is John. So then people scan it on their phone. The text will pop up on their phone that says, hi, my name is John. But if you do it like this and say, hey, tkinter.com, it'll create a QR code with a URL. That if somebody scans it with their phone, a little link will pop up. They can click on their phone and it'll go to your website. You know how QR codes work, obviously. So boom, let's save this. And I'm going to save this as test three. And now notice I'm not going to type in PNG. We'll see if it works. Boom, it works. Let's come back over here. And sure enough, test three is right there. If we open it, yep, that seems to work. I could scan it with my phone, but you couldn't really see my phone on camera. So you're just going to have to trust me. This works. You could try it out yourself. Uh, now let's try this again. Let's clear the screen and let's HTTPS. This time let's go codemy.com and let's create a QR code. Let's create this one as test four. This time I'm going to type .png to make sure it works this way too. Uh, boom, there we go. This thing popped up right there, test four. All right, we're good to go. And that's all there is to it. So super easy, super fast. All we had to do is use this PyQR code library and the PNG thing. You don't have to use the PNG. You can save it as you would save any image. A couple of videos ago in the playlist, we talked about saving images a different way. This is just super easy. So we did it this way. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab a totally free PDF version of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome. It talks about all the Kinter widgets in great detail. So check that out at tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book. Totally free. Just enter your email address and I'll shoot it right over to you. While you're there, check out tkinter.com. Think about joining as a member. You'll get all my Kinter videos and courses for one low price. Check that out if you're interested. My name is John Elder from tkinter.com and I'll see you in the next video.